Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chip, sponsored by Interco. We're going to take you on a 10-minute tour of... Gibbs Gears. Let's go. Gibbs Gears is a large company and we're in one of two of the buildings now. It's an amazing facility. You look at, you've got 5S here, you've got machines that there's only two of in the country. Very exciting, but what do Gibbs Gears do? So Gibbs Gears is, as I said, one of three, three companies in the group. We've got Gibbs Gears, which is this site, two buildings. We've got Copsey Engineering, which is down in Essex. And this, this site also hosts or houses Gibbs Design Solutions, which is a new company. But the what main, does that new company do? So Gibbs Design Solutions takes on design uh, schemes from customers. Uh, the, the current projects are all electric vehicle based. Right. Nearly everything we're making in, in this plant, and I'll talk a little bit about what we're making in a minute, but all the new projects, everything's electric vehicles for right. drive lines, motors. And you're producing the whole housing and everything, yes. aren't you, for yes. all of these? Yes, right. designing and, and producing. Designing and producing, yes. very exciting. Yeah, yeah. And what do you say the main essence of Gibbs is then? The main essence of Gibbs at the moment, this, this site is running at about 50, 55 percent aerospace, which right. is a traditional Gibbs business. The new business coming in is electric vehicles, auto sport, and a lot of commercial stuff as well to make up the whole the whole site. This is a gear site. This is the gear site. And you spent an awful lot of money on this, haven't you? So yeah, yeah. what is this particular facility? Because this is something you really wanted to show off. Yeah. To so me. This, this machine here is the Viper 500. Uh, form grinding machine. It's uh, fairly new to Gibbs. It's about three years old. Uh, it's in a temperature controlled environment, which you can see. Um, we grind internal, external gears down to DIN 3, which is very, very good quality. Well, what was happening before? Why did you have to invest because, in this because facility? Because the, the market's gone that way. Electric vehicles, you've got no big V8 engine, you've got a very quiet electric motor. The vehicle has to be quiet. Right. So you need to have good gears, high, uh, high tolerances, good profiles, etc. And to, so you've housed all of this in there here because of thermal compensation. Correct. This, this, when you try to work to these very small tolerances, the, um, the thermal effect is much more than anything else. Now right. we grind some big gears in here and they might be in the machine for three hours. Wow, so before, so, like, obviously, because you've got these machines around, but before, this this is the one that's going down to your micron. This, this is, is this is the, the, the key grinding machine, yeah. This is the, the quality comes from this machine. Right. This is what all the um, electric vehicle gears are produced on. A lot of aerospace is produced on it. We can produce tip relief, root relief, crowning. Uh, we get very, very good pitching errors for timing gears. The whole thing is a, it's one very, very capable machine. Right, okay, and you've gone for Gleason, and there's quite a few Gleasons yes. here. This one's got automation integrated yes. in it, hasn't it? Yes, so this is a P90. This is the newest of the small hobby machines, horizontal machine, with uh, auto loading. Uh, so these parts are coming. Are we going to see a part now, actually? Yes. Look at the size of that. So, what, 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 tell me the process here, what's happening? So, this is producing the teeth from a turn blank uh, with. Carbide hobs, it's auto loaded in and out of the machine, um, running about, about 30 second cycle time. We then load the parts directly into heat treatment baskets. The reason for this is to, to avoid damage. Right, okay. Because the biggest problem with these small gears is we throw them in a bucket and heat treatment damage them, so, so we control that in house. So you've kind of got the springs so they're all yep. together. Right, yep. okay. Got another Gleason as well. Yep, Why are you going for the Gleason machines? Uh, they're, they're versatile, they're good, the small footprint. Good quality. Uh, I think just once you get into a, a supplier, it's like a car at home. You buy a BMW, you always have a BMW. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I like that. No, but it's service. It's service. If you if yeah, yeah. it's if it's done something right for you and well, yeah. then perfect. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're going to go down to the bottom. You've still got a, got quite a few manual machines. Yeah, and there's a lot said, of staff members here. How many staff have you? There's got? about 60 on this site. I think there's 25 at the uh, Copsey site in Whitham, and there's two people that work in the design part, which is, as I said, is a new company. So yes. it's quite a, quite a big animal to feed. It, it certainly is. So this is the old, the old part of the machinery for, we do still do subcontract gear cut only jobs, which is the, the, the historical work from, from Gibbs Gear. So we've got the new and the old and the balance. Well, you, yeah, and what audience are you kind of aiming yourselves <laughs> at then? Well, aerospace is, is we have uh, LTAs with lots of 
big aerospace customers. So that's kind of set. Uh, that that level of um, work remains fairly constant. We have two-year, three-year contracts with forecasts, etc., etc. The new business is, as I said, electric vehicles, where you have a, might have a motor manufacturer who knows the motor business, knows nothing about gearboxes, but needs a gearbox. So he right. comes to us. And, and then we've you've got the design side as well, haven't yeah. you? So we can then fill that void to, to, to support. Yeah, and we, we're starting to form partnerships now with, with some of the motor manufacturers and, and bringing that well, under, the, under the umbrella of Gibbs Gears. Engineers know how to manufacture products at the end of the day, and you know what the capabilities are. I want to talk about this, actually. Okay. This is your introduction to 5S. Well, this is, this is a shop floor data collection. Yes. So we have a number of tablets around the, around the plant where people, operators can... Like, I'm going to work on this job, click it, I'm on this job, I'm on this machine, start the operation, finish the operation, so we can then see how long it takes. Yes. So we can compare our estimated times against actual times, look at efficiencies and things like that. And do you think this is powerful for it you? It is, but also we can, they can look at the drawings, right. data, so you have a drawing of the part, instead of having a paper drawing, we can have it on the system. Brilliant. And, and, and what... What do you think that's done to your business? How's it changed we, we, it? We now understand the business better. Oh, really? Uh, because before, if you was just making parts, and uh, well, that's, we say that's going to take 10 minutes. Yes. Is, is that part done? Yes. Then you go, well, how long did it take? Don't know. Don't know. But now we know that gears take that 10 minutes. For scheduling. It, scheduling. And also, if we're making a, a, an assembly, we might have 20 or 30 parts in it. Then we can look at all the different pieces of that transmission or yes. whatever it is and look at the total cost so from where we are. Okay, and you've got a couple of Gleasons. Oh, actually, you've got different machines here. So what we're looking at here... So these are the, the, the three shaping machines. We've got a Lorenz and two uh, Gleasons, a, fi a 500 machine uh, and a, uh, a 320 ES machine. Uh, the ES machine is a, a quite a, a, spe a special animal. This machine can, has got electronic guides. Right. So, and is this one of only a few in the country? Yes, I think this is only one of, I think, three or four machines in the country. So this machine is capable of, of, of shaping helical parts without the need for a 20-week lead time for helical guides. Oh, really? So it's got a, a gearbox in it. It's got a lot, of, a lot of electronics in this machine. It's a very expensive machine. So what was the time uh, that you're t telling me that it would take 20 weeks well, if, to if, make? If, if, for, for, traditionally, if you have to buy guides to do helical gears, the lead time for guides can be 20 weeks. Wow. We can, as long as, as soon as we get the cutter, we program the machine it can be running the same day. You can't right. believe that's technology, isn't it? Right, we're going to have to face the cold now and go out into the second building. Oh, right, OK, so what's happening in this building then, Steve? So this building is the um, turning, milling, grinding and wire EDM shop. Um, there's some gears here that have uh, just about finished off. One of our, our, our biggest gears we make, we can make bigger than that. We can go from the small gears you saw earlier on the, the P90 up to the, the Vipers capable of half a metre diameter. Oh, really? That, oh, oh, wow. So we can quite a range of gears. It certainly is. And, oh, OK, so you've got two Matsura machines here as part of the milling, um, the milling section. Yep, this is milling, so we've got two Matsuras. So we're going to look at the oh, second and a half. one. So what, and a half. why have you chosen? What, what's the scope of machines here? They're why versatile. Have you gone for these? Very versatile, fairly easy to set. So what is it that you're making on these machines then? So the mats, these are making uh, CV joints. We go for, this is doing the milling operation. So we're going from a turn blank to a, a fully milled, complete component, ready to go for the for future operations of plating and grinding and all sorts of things. Right, again, what microns are you going to be working down to on part? These are down these? to five microns, oh, sort really? of number, yeah. yeah. Right, and so oh, this, you can see it. So, oh, I see. So, you've so got this the is the, the finished part, two operations, the first op and the second op. So we load them up to the same time. And so every cycle we get a finished component you've off. You've always got a finished component yeah. to come off. Yeah. And again, if you turn around, Ian, the lovely cameraman, again, you've got your 5S yeah. on, on almost. So have you got one of these on every single machine? Yeah, yeah. So they've all got 5S. We've got the SFDC tablets are on most of the machines. Yes. They may not be on every machine at the moment, but we will have them on all the machines. Right. And like you said, you've already seen a huge transformation in the business. Yeah, it also, and it gives them two, two things. It gives information back to the, to the, to the, four, the, the team leaders, etc. But it also shows the guys what's coming. Right. So if they can see this job's coming and this job's coming next week, and they're very similar, we'll do them together. Perfect.
Well, it just makes it more efficient on every uh, in every single way. Correct. You also have meetings in the far corner yeah, over yeah. there. What's this? Because I've never well, heard this of this our, before. Uh, we have a, a quality clinic once a week where the quality manager and the team leaders, engineers, if there's any issues, we get together once a week and, and go through those issues. So everybody's involved in what's going on, make action plans, wow. improvements, yeah. we need a new gauge, whatever. I guess everyone kind of feels that responsibility yeah. as well. Right, again, this is all part of 5S organisation. Yeah. So this is the uh, consumable tool storage, uh, all computerised, linked to, the, to Cromwell who do the supplying of the, comp of the carbide drills, etc, etc. Everything's in there, I think. And you're using um, inspection equipment. I know you've got one here, which is your size, yep. but there is also an inspection department, yep. which is thermally... Yep. So we have two... Um, this is shop floor inspection. Yes. So this is ice machine. This machine originally was in our inspection department. Yes. We bought a new machine in the inspection department, which we'll show you. But this machine has come out of inspection. We used it on the shop floor. It's had a new head and new software on it. Uh, but for the very... High accuracy, we go back into the temperature controlled environment to, to well, check you've everything. Got, it's good to have both of them, isn't yeah. it? I guess. Well, um, and you've got automation, this is key. So, on some of the machines next to you, that the automation was integrated. Yep. Interesting here to see the automation of the robo job, which we know well, yep. um, on the Doosan machine. So, why have you gone for automation here then? Well, the automation in this area is we make um, not massive batches, but bigger batches. Uh, and, and instead of having one guy just stood on a machine, every five minutes or whatever put in a part in it's, it's more efficient brings our cost base down and then we can use the skilled guys to to, to work on the other machine so it's a twin edge sword you know what it's interesting we'll go we'll squeeze through here but we talk about we've spoken a lot about that um, but it's so good to hear engineers implementing it into their facility um okay should we go and have a quick look in inspection yes, as well yep. just to finish in off the inspection. tour um so gibbs gears what, what are your goals for the future then uh, obviously to make a big profit. <laughs> well, we, we like that, we like to know that. <laughs> but it's to uh, produce good product, produce quality product and keep our customers happy. And you're part of a group that... Well, the, the, three, <laughs> three, the, three, the three divisions, yeah, there's three, three parts with and Copsy, Gibbs Gears and the Design Solutions. And part. do they integrate with oh, yeah. one another yes. massively as yes. well? We do a lot of uh, parts of part produced at Gibbs, millions done at Copsy, finished off at Gibbs. And there's a lot of inter... And Copsley has a lot of five axis machines yes, as five well, machines, don't you? five machines. So Mazak you just work machines. with oh, five Mazaks as yeah, well. Yeah. Okay, so you've got here, this is your most recent I investment of inspection. Yep, this is the new Zeiss machine. This is, uh, I don't know, three months old, I think. This is, And this has got all the gear software on it. So we can do gear, all the gear checks on here that we can do on our, our Wenzel machine. We can also do all the alignments of gears to holes and features and all that sort of thing we get involved in as well. So it's very, very... Um, complex machine right okay well just to kind of uh, finish off the 10 minute tour and um, hopefully we'll be able to go to Copsley soon as well for a little tour but um, what would you say to anyone why would you recommend um, yourselves as a brand as a company uh, to come to use you as a facility well Gibbs is um, as someone mentioned to me the other day said uh, it's a hidden gem and lots, lots of things we do in, in Gibbs as you've seen we've got some very very high specification mm. complicated very, very good, accurate machines. We've got design, design capability, a complete package to, to support whatever our customers might need, whether it just be a gear cut or a complete transmission made. It can all be done within the group. Well, there you have it. If you've got a requirement for Gibbs Gears services, then do contact them and get in touch.